Well, away from that, the former deputy governor of Nigeria's central bank, Obadaya Melafia, is dead. The renowned economist reportedly died this morning at the National Hospital Abuja at the age of 64. Dr. Melafia was born on the 24th of December 1956 in Zanda village within Sanga, local government area of Kaduna State, and taught economics at different institutions. He spent the latter part of his years advocating for a solution to the protracted killings in southern Kaduna. In 2019, he joined the presidential race under the platform of the African Democratic Congress, which President Muhammad Buhari won. And our correspondent in Plateau State filed in this report. Some residents of just the Plato State capital who share their thoughts on the life and times of Dr. Obadia Melafia says they are shocked with the news of his demise. We've lost a voice. We've lost a man of courage. We've lost a brilliant intellectual. Someone who had passion for this country. Someone who was ready to lay down his life for this country. My friend, my brother, Dr. Obadiah Melafia, you will not die in vain. May we all be comforted. He was well known for his stake in monetary policies and will be greatly missed by uh, the Kaduna State Government, Nigeria and the world at large. As uh, an individual who had a close touch with him, I saw the embodiment of somebody who wanted great reforms for the betterment of the citizens of this country. The deceased in September 2020 had in an interview with an online radio station claimed that one of the northern governors was a major sponsor of the insecurity bedeviled in some parts of the country. He was invited by the Department of State Service, Just Command, on three different occasions for questioning over the allegation. He had this to say in one of his interviews with journalists shortly after coming out from the DSS office. I spoke as a citizen of this country who loves the people of this country. Yes, sir. I am the voice of thousands of voiceless people. Millions. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Muslim youths have taken me as their voice. Yes. Yes. Christian youths have taken me as their voice. Yes, sir. Yes. Thousands of people have been killed in this country. Yes. I am the voice of the holy martyrs. Yes. And if I perish, I perish. The Southern Kaduna People's Union, a body in which he was a member before his demise, say they are going to miss his wise counsel and support. We will surely miss him. Because people like him are not many. Uh, he's, 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 um, he's, for us, he's a nationalist. He's a state man. So we will miss him. We will miss him. We will miss his knowledge. We will miss his simplicity. We will miss, we miss so many things about him. People to minority interest, especially in north central Nigeria, due to his doggedness and public criticism of the Buhari led federal government. Due to its alleged inability to protect the interests of the minority tribes in that region, the search will now begin for an individual who can fill that void. Phnom Joshua, TVC News, Joss.